infamous bridge in Durham is being lifted and work officially started today. We've all seen that image too many times. Yes, it's known as the can opener and the city hoped warning signs on Gregson Street would keep trucks from hitting it. Well, that didn't work. Tonight, Jamise Price walks us through the new solution. For the past week, they've been prepping this bridge for this day, making sure that everything is all right, even shutting down train operations while crews work to raise this bridge by eight inches, taking out those old barons and replacing them with new barons to support the bridge that will be elevated to 12 feet, four inches. It's a part of the railroad company's long-term capital budget improvement plan because there's been a number of issues here with the lower clearance. A local businessman who set up cameras showed us just how big of a problem this low clearance under the railroad overpass has been for some truck drivers. There are signs, flashing lights, warning the drivers, but those just weren't enough to stop the nearly 150 crashes those cameras captured over the past decade. I wanted to know if they could elevate the bridge even higher. The staff engineers here said, and this is as high as it could go. Actually, the limits of the project are not just the limits within the bridge. Actually, the track has to be raised as well. So feasibly, the limits of the track to be raised would only allow us to raise the bridge about eight inches. Crews finished this work this evening. This road will remain closed for another week so crews can paint the bridge. In Durham, Jamise Price, CBS 17 News.